Hey guys, it's your uh, friendly neighborhood pen god over here with some uh, bad news. There's a pandemic going around. Meta virginitis, where a bunch of players play meta decks a lot. And I have the cure for this pandemic. But this cure is destroying people at locals with the best fucking deck pendulum. Let's go! But unfortunately, I can't do that anymore because there's another pandemic going around. Called obesity. Hit the gym, you fat fuck. And also there's COVID. The Toronto government just uh, shut down locals, basically. So this brings the end of our locals vlogs. I love the locals vlogs. I love seeing all the comments you guys put down there. Today's a sad day in history. Today is, this is the very last vlog uh, we're ever going to do until COVID's back, which might be never. Gosh darn it. If only there was some way that I could duel against someone in the comfort of my own home and still go to locals and still play Yu-Gi-Oh and destroy people if only there was some way that these daily local vlogs can continue going We're going to a vlog, baby! Let's go! The vlogs ain't going nowhere! We're too sick for COVID! We don't care about locals this, locals that. Yeah, of course. And I'd love to do it in person. But guess what? Doing it over a webcam is not good enough for me. So let's go. These vlogs ain't going nowhere. Welcome to episode number one of the Remote Duel Vlogs. Let's go! So today, what we're gonna do is we're gonna be taking the best deck in the planet, baby, Pendulum. And we're gonna be devouring everyone and eating them for lunch, like our cousin, the lion over there. Let's go. So with that being said, let's get straight into this video. If this is your first time here, smash the subscribe button, smash the like button, and let's get it. Let's start it. These vlogs ain't going nowhere, baby. COVID shuts us down, don't matter. We never shut down. Remote to vlog, starting now. Let's go. I actually made a song. I actually made a song. Yeah, actually. I made a song, official remix with Snoop Dogg. Da 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 da. It's a motherfucking PND. Da 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 da. I'll put up DPE. Let's go. They don't have no takes, baby. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Triff Cooking. Dual night room over here. <laughs> Today, I'm gonna teach you how to cook eggs in three seconds. Crack open your egg, it's okay to leave some shell in there because it builds character. Just drink it. How to cook eggs in three seconds. Just to admire myself. Doesn't matter what dreams you have, doesn't matter what goals you have, everything in the world could be accomplished. And we did. Now that you put 14 grams of protein inside you, you could begin your day. So before we get into absolutely coughing everyone at locals, I wanted to give you guys a little house tour. What kind of guests would I be if I invited you guys to my house for some remote tools and I didn't even show you guys my house? I'm Macedonian, we are great guests. Uh, housewarming, house guests, house... Person who invites friends, house? I don't fucking know, but you know what I'm talking about. Host, Triff, a fucking host. It is literally four fucking letters. Four letters, H-O-S-T, host. We are a good host. Welcome to my house. This over here is my shoe rack of me and my roommate. Uh, we don't really clean it because we don't, we're men. We don't really care. Uh, this is a, was left from my, my Halloween party. Uh, some random girl left it here. I actually don't even know her name, to be honest. If you're watching this, what's up? Chicken and rice. Chicken and rice. I'll show you guys how to cook chicken and rice on the next remote vlog. This is my specialty. Uh, guys, I should probably close this because once I eat this, I don't want the chicken to get poisoning from Triff Gaming because I don't get salmonella. Salmonella gets Triff. These are my, uh, my drinks for later. We're gonna enter the bathroom. Y'all ready for this? Ah, the bathroom! Oh, you guys aren't ready for this. So this is where I, I you know, come every morning to flex in the mirror. 
take a solid 30 seconds in here. Just to admire myself. Look at my tats, look at my triceps. This is typical. Sometimes I'll also lift up the sleeve just to get good form. Look at, you know, different angles. It's important to know. And then, yeah, that's, that's about all I do in here. And then this is the dual night room. This is the dual night room over here. <laughs> look at that, bro! the pot ingredient. This is my trophy. This is our new trophies right here. The loser one is probably for Sam or like Denzel or something. This one you already know is this that one could just stay in my room, the champion one. And uh that's that. Let's uh go check out my room now. Let's go check out oh! look at this the champion's room how beautiful is that boys hey come, come in bed with me boys Ugh. It's for all the homies. Come in. Ugh. Ugh, so comfy. I got the best bed ever. And then this is my whiteboard over here. My whiteboard. You guys want to see my whiteboard? Ugh, well, too bad. Because it shows all my hopes and dreams and goals. And, uh... Oh, shit. You already kind of saw a little bit. Okay, well... In life, guys... Doesn't matter what dreams you have. Doesn't matter what goals you have. Everything in the world can be accomplished. Anything. And absolutely everything. So every single day when I wake up, there's whiteboards in my face. I look at it, I see 65,000 subscribers. I see get jacked. I see get my real estate license. I see all this like stuff that are my goals in life. And I pursue it. And it's the first thing I see every day. And every night, I check off what I did the, the day before. I recommend you guys do it too. Because in life, anything can be accomplished with hard work. Let's go. All right, this over here is my home gym. I don't usually use my home gym because I have an actual gym at LA Fitness that I go to. And that's also my home gym. Everyone there pays rent to me because I'm the fucking pen god. And it's my gym, baby. Let's go. Uh, over here, we got some other cool stuff. This is where I have my merch where you, could, you guys could buy at tripgaming.com. Even though a majority of these merches are going to be left out for today to sent out. They're sent out today because they're sold out. So, uh, but get your stuff while they last. This is my fireplace that I haven't uh, set up since the four years that I've lived here. Those are my dumbbells. Ah, this is my office! This is where I absolutely am going to obliterate everybody in today's tournament. Uh, and uh, that's uh, that's my MTV Cribs. I hope you guys enjoyed the MTV Cribs. I want to give you guys... What kind of guess would I be if I didn't show you guys my house? What kind of guess would... I, I'm a good host. Aren't I a good host, guys? Chat, am I a good host? Can you just let me know in the comments down below if you guys think I'm a good host? Because what kind of host invites you guys to a remote door and doesn't even show you his house? Like, what the heck? I'm a great host. All right. Well, with that being said, enough hosting. More dueling. Time to clap up these bombs. We're going to go straight to Twitch right now. We're going to get some Yu-Gi-Oh in. We're going to clap everyone. Because I don't care. I don't care, guys. Whether it's real life or remote. Same thing. Same thing. Same thing every time. Pendulum domination. Let's go. I'm going to show you guys the remote duels are actually super fun, especially when you're lifting every day. Look at those biceps. So I want to give a massive shout out to my entire Twitch chat right now. Every single one of you, big shout out to Twitch because they're going to be seeing all this live. They're going to be seeing this absolute pendulum domination live. I'm going to obliterate this tournament because I'm playing the best deck, boys. I'm playing DPE pendulums. And people are not ready for this absolute smothering. I'll see you guys at the beginning of round one. Let's go. Round one is about to start right now. This deck is absolutely insane. We're going to be doing the most purest DPE Scythe Turbo Magician Pendulum deck in the world. While still having incredible synergy for going second. Whereas one purple poison outs the full sword soul board. Which is why I'm playing three poison. Just look at the deck. It is absolutely sexy. It is so beautiful. Going uh, post side deck and main deck. We do not play around. We play around Droll and Nibiru every single game. You guys will see it in this remote dual tourney. If we go Pot, Pot always searches a monster. Duelist Alliance always searches Double Iris or Pensork. It never searches Pen Call unless you brick badly. Never play into Droll. And we're just, yeah, that's it. If we draw these bricks, we cry. But if we draw Celestial and Dasher, we just pen summon them. It's fine. We just forego DPE completely. It's okay. It's not bad. Same with Scythe. You could pen call Scythe and pop your deck. The it's a lot. It's okay. They suck, but at least you could pen call them or, pe or pen summon them. This is a side deck. We're prepared for all the Scythe bullshits, and this is our extra deck. Okay, very beautiful. 
The only thing I would change in the extra deck is put in Rhapsody and Berserk, which I do not own at the moment. I gotta go get it at Locals. Remove Dwell of Rhapsody and Berserk. This makes it so this gets rid of both Celestial and DPE from your opponent. With that being said, it's Remote Duel Local Time. Chat, thank you for hyping me up. Just from you guys. Ah, just from you guys hyping me up. I'm super fucking hyped, baby. I'm so hyped. Look at the chat. Oh, chat, you make me smile, bro. I love you guys. I love the I love Twitch chat so much, bro. You guys make me smile. So, with that being said, round one's about to start. Round one's about to start. So let's take this deck in real life, obviously, to action. Let's go. See you guys round one. Let's begin, boys. It is locals time. Let's go. I told you guys that it don't matter, bro. COVID don't matter. The biggest pandemic ain't even COVID. It's these bums that think they have a chance against me. Sorry for the little widescreen over here. Moving forward and all remote to local vlogs, I will be putting up better webcam quality. I'm literally using a webcam out here. And I have the, the, the sexy ass 5000 dollars camera on my face. But don't worry, guys. In the next few remote dual vlogs, we're going to do better ones. There's nothing my opponent could do here. He's playing Drytron. Thinks he has a chance. But we got Baron to floor with Scythe. And the Scythe resolved against Drytron. So with Scythe resolving against Drytron, there's really nothing our opponent could do to survive here. There's really nothing. There's really He's literally putting up a huge wall here, thinking that he'll be able to survive. But obviously he won't, because if we put up Scythe, Pangraph, Baron, there's literally nothing he can do playing this deck. He goes Natasha, and it's pretty cute what he tries here. He tries to start stealing some of my monsters with Natasha. He's going to do this and that, but I'm like, <laughs> dude, that doesn't do jack shit. Like, he cleared my board through Scythe, but... The thing with Pendulums is we have the greatest follow-up in the planet. He has a full mo board of monsters that do absolutely nothing. And this is just going to be easy, like literally easy pickings, bro. This will be easy pickings. So I'm going to just start popping everything. I'm telling him I activate this, I activate that. I am negating everything in my path. I force the DPE. He has a bear negate. It doesn't matter. I just pen five. And this just forces him to uh, absolutely... I know he has no cards left to d deal with anything. And I'm going to pick uh, slowly pick the cards I want to pop. I add cards with Sork here. And now I recognize he has five cards. I also recognize that Axis Code is going to clear out like, everything. Pengraph's going to clear two. So I go into Time Star here. If I go into Time Star, it means Pengraph could send two cards in the field. So I do that instantly. So Time Star the fact, protects my own scale to use Pengraph to send. And then I'm like, you know what? I don't even need to kill him. I'm just going to destroy everything, put up Dweller, and put up a fatty board here, Pengraph Dweller against Drytron with Appalooza. And like that's just there's nothing you could do there. So I'm just like on DPE comes back. So that's game. I'm gonna take game one over here. There's nothing Drytron can do. If we lose the dice roll, or if we win the dice roll, there's nothing Drytron can do. And it is our worst matchup at the end of the day. So even if we lose the dice roll, there's not much we can do either. <laughs> but we're playing the best deck, baby. So of course we're gonna win the dice roll. So you guys see uh, uh game number two over here. Uh, we won the dice roll simply because I got a magician play, man! You guys see my playmat? That's the most beautiful playmat in the fucking game, baby. I literally have about five left. I actually, they might be sold. All right, I don't have five left. I have five left. I had like 13 left last week, and now we're at five left. So make sure to, to get that. And also, a lot of the playmats are really getting sold out very, very soon. So make sure to go check out TripGaming.com if you guys haven't already. Because a lot of these playmats are gone, bro. Like, we're going to have, like, a, <coughs> I was hoping to have a huge boxing sale. But a lot of our playmats are just out of stock. So we'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll have to see. Anyways, he's going to go here, and he's going to set up his full board. If he doesn't, I, I side this fear more than level golem just in case. I don't know if he's playing the Dag the Scythe lock. So as long as he doesn't Scythe me, we win. And then, uh, of course, he goes DPE, and then he hard drives the Scythe. So see you later to our board, bro. There's nothing we could do in this scenario, dude. I love golem. So if he had, all, all we needed was him to not just not DPE Scythe lock us. Like, if he, just, if he went DPE, that's fine, because we just lava golem, get rid of it. And there's really nothing we could do here. There's really nothing we can do. Um, let's just go next game. There's nothing we could do. Uh, that's just that was just insane. Yu-Gi-Oh, most interactive game in the world. No, <laughs> at least not when it's combo versus combo. So uh, now it's gonna be game number game number three. And my opponent is gonna need like every hand trap in the game because one hand trap will not be enough to stop us. Two hand traps will not be enough to stop us. This man gotta get out the combo of Nip Valor Ash, bro. And even then, that's not still not enough to stop us, baby. So here I activate the fact of Pros. I'm playing around Droll here. He doesn't Droll me. I have the full setup with Baron and, and Harmo, so even Nip Baylor doesn't save him here. There's no card in Yu-Gi-Oh to save his ass. Uh, we're going to set up uh, Pengraph Protection with the Scythe and the Baron, and I'm going to keep the Fiber in the field uh, just in case because I could use TG1 and Magician as a secondary way to pop Scythe. He lets Scythe resolve. I'm like, <laughs> all right, GG, dude, GG. If you're not stopping the Scythe, you're not winning the duel, and that's just how it is. 
And I do want to leave one more mention here for everyone watching. I understand the webcam quality is horrendous. Uh, moving forward, I will do my best to get better uh, a camera. So uh, like a camera specifically just for this, just for remote dueling. So uh, I'll have to get a second camera, one for my face and one for remote dueling because webcams just aren't doing it. Round one is in the books. We've just defeated Drytron and that was tough. That was literally whoever went first. My side deck does not bode well against Drytron. It's a tough matchup. We actually need to win the dice roll against them. And we did because we're playing the best deck. As you guys saw that game one over there, uh, he was close. What he was, what Drytron does under Scythe is they try and go for Natasha to steal the biggest card and clear the board. But there's nothing they can really do. They also try and go for Draconids. But because we always have Pengraph set up, we're always safe through uh, the, what Drytron does if we Scythe them, as you saw. Game two, I Lava Golem, which chat pointed out, I normal summon under Lava Golem. My bad. I'm not perfect. Everyone makes mistakes. I was in, it was in such a game state where I couldn't win. So I'm thinking in my head, I'm like, okay, uh, what if I do this and this and this and this and this? And then while thinking this and this and this and this, I completely forgot after 19 plays in my head that Lava Golem was summoned in the turn. So I'm thinking of like, if I summon this and then do this and then Purple Poison this and then this and this, I forgot the Lava Golem. So that was completely my bad. I ended up losing anyway. It just didn't matter anyways. So on to game three now. And I set up the same thing, the same board. I played through Nip, Imperm, Nip, Valor. I made sure to do that. Uh, I played through Droll, specifically playing through Droll. Uh, I played through Droplets. I played through Dark Ruler. Every single card I was prepared for. Evenly matched. Everything I was prepared for in that hand. So uh, we end up winning. The only thing I could, I could lose... The only way I could lose is by time. And uh, there was like, once it was my turn, I had like a minute left. So I was just like, nah, 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 access code, access code, summon, summon, nah, 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 nah. see you later, board. And uh, that's that. So we're 1 0 right now. That was a great match. Great. He played re really well, that player. So now we're going to go on to game number two. And the goal is to win. The goal is to win, boys. Boys, are we winning? Yeah, we are. We're winning. Let's go. Oh shit, rounds up! Game number two! Round number two! Round number two, let's go. We're facing up a very spicy deck here, okay? So I don't know what I'm playing right away. I know, I'll figure it out later. But here, we're gonna go full combo with Baron, protecting all of our combos. We got Baron, Pengraph, DPE, Scythe. We got a, a, a solid board going on. So, I, I do, do not shotgun DPE's draw phase in case he's playing Thunder. And this guy hits me with the fucking Red Eyes Fusion. Who the fuck is playing Red Eyes Fusion right now with DPE legal? I'm like, what the heck? And then he called Vise my Scythe. I, I negate the Red Eyes Fusion and then hit that. And then he goes Danger Sook. This guy's playing PKs with Red Eyes Fusion. Are you kidding me, dude? Oh my god. PKs with the Red Eyes Fusion got our ass hard. Like, actually insanely lucky. If I knew he was playing PK, I would have let the Red Eyes Fusion go. I don't care if he was playing PK. But I didn't know he hard drew it. Like, in a combo deck. I thought he was playing some weird monkey deck. So I'm just salty at this point. I'm just like, man... And on top of that, you have the call by to stop the rest. I'm like, dude, you're insane. Obviously, in that scenario, if we use DPE draw phase to pop the scythe, we would win. But this is game one. And we had Pengraph to stop a Dark Ruler. What if he was playing Thunder? If he was playing Thunder, that pop was actually... The DPE pop to pop his cards were actually required. We lose game one, so we're going to go to game two. I got hella sacked, dude. That was insane. I got insanely sacked. But this, it is what it is. We're going to go into game number two. And I know what he's playing is going to be easy for us. And game three will also be easy because we're just going to sphere more Lava Golem, his Dragoon and DPE. So I know he's not playing Dagda. Or not DPE, I mean Dragoon in whatever field he puts up. So his Appaloosa Dragoon's getting popped. So we know we're not getting sights. So we're going to win game three. So we're in a good scenario here. I go Baron. I set this up with Needle Fiber. I uh, get a lot of plus here. Artemis. I'm just going to get the whole combo. Now that I know what he's playing, I'm hitting his shit in freaking draw phase. Uh, now that we know what he's playing. I got Scythe set up with DPE and Baron, and uh, yeah, I just go, no, DPE, pop, and he's like, all right, nice game, understandable. <laughs> what can he do, dude? What can he do if our DPE Scythe resolves against his deck? There's like nothing this man can do. So now we're going to go to game three, and I'm set up nice, because he got Dragoon, and oh, Appaloosa, whatever Masquerina boy he's putting up, bro, we're going to stream with his ass, Lava Golem his ass, Dark Ruler his ass, and we're playing through Fog Blades like it's nothing. All we need is for him to not draw anti-spell. I don't know if he's going to... So I cited Red Reboot too, just in case. Because he does have Fog Blades as well. So all I'm trying to uh, dodge here is anti-spell. If he doesn't have anti-spell, we're going to win. And uh, we didn't 
uh, game one, we got sacked so hard. So in my mind, I'm like, there's no way we're getting sacked this hard in game three, right? It's impossible. So he goes uh, with Evil Storm Nightmare. This tells me he hard drew the Red Eyes Fusion. I go pot. He doesn't go at that spot. I'm like, yeah, this duel's over. My hand is fucking abysmal. It's dog shit right now. Absolutely garbage hand. Like, I, literally unplayable hand. I couldn't believe it. I, I drew, like, Celestial Dasher, like, the most unplayable garbage I've ever seen. Double Prosperity. So I just Sphere Mode him so he doesn't have a follow-up. And I just I have a pen graph. He causes my pen graph. I'm like, fuck. Things are not looking hot. But at least he doesn't have an anti-spell, so we're in a good scenario. And he doesn't have much in his graveyard. So he actually won't be able to kill me here. We'll be able to survive. And then I'll be able to play with my pot on the following turn. So we're in a we're in a solid scenario. Uh, because he actually cannot kill me with this current state. So he goes Zeus. And this guy top decks a fucking anti-spell. Are you kidding me? He top decks anti-spell. Oh, I'm sucked, dude. Oh. Fucking I drew fusion doesn't even fucking turn. Oh, that's no. That is a ah. Round two recap. What the fucking bullshit? Fucking bull game one. Okay. We you never DP and drop ace because if he's playing flunder, then you need that pop or else you're getting clapped up. So I. Not mad that we did that. Then he goes Red Eyes Fusion, and I see Monkey Flip deck. So I'm like, that's fine. Negate. Bring up another, so you can't do another. Resolve Scythe. Boom, Scythe negated. Continues playing. He's playing fucking PK with Dragoon. Did not expect that. And then we lose game one. Who played Dragoon? But he did have a Starlight, so it's understandable, because that's one sexy-ass Dragoon. So game one, it's all good. I ain't even mad, because he has a sexy Dragoon. Game two, I sight his ass. We're going on to game three. We did what our deck does. On game three, I look at my hand. The most unplayable bullshit I've ever seen in my life. All we needed was the Pendulum Summon, and I couldn't even get a Pendulum Summon off. I drew Double Prosperity... Oh, Harmo Tuning Magician Pengraph. But don't worry, we still almost won. Prosperity is severe mode. See you later. He couldn't kill us. I look at my hand, I, I drop Fusion Destiny. I'm like, it's over. This duel is over. And by the there's no fucking way. There's no fucking way. Look at my next hand, my, my next card in my hand. The next card in my deck. The next card in my deck. Red fucking reboot was the next card in my deck. <laughs> Why me? And we couldn't give him another turn. I, we we're getting OTK'd. The father of aesthetics. This is my actual hero. And if not for this guy right here, there would be no like trip gaming. Trust me, there would be literally no trip gaming. His name is Ziz. And he inspired me to lift. Look at this guy. Uh, I might get tears. Absolute legend. He inspired me to lift when I was like in high school. Absolute legend right here. He's a fucking king, bro. Everyone fucking hated that. <laughs> Raven. He inspired me, bro. Forever Myron, bro. Wow. I'm getting a. Uh, that's what I'm getting. I'm getting a Ziz tat. Alright, I'm getting Vinny Vinny Vici. Alright, sick. Forever Myron, bro. Big shout out to Ziz. That man is a hero. If it wasn't for Ziz, there would be no Triff Gaming. I said it fully over, bro. Forever Myron, all respect to the king. Let's go. So, this is like, if you guys love my energy, this is like my energy times 100. He's my final form, bro. He is like what Triff aspires to be. Uh, and here he's going to go Dwell. We're facing Eldritch. I know he's facing El but I know he's playing Eldritch because I recognize this man in a remote regional before. Uh, or not regional, not regional. Uh, the remote ICS side event. I recognized him, so I knew he was playing this deck. And we know exactly what to pop and exactly when to pop it. So this is a free matchup for us. There's no one in the world that knows about, about, as much about Eldritch as we do. I saw Takobo and I knew the duel was over. The second I realized Takobo was in his deck, he is outmatched. He is outmatched. If you play Takobo and Eldritch, 
<laughs> you're outmatched, bro. That, that, that card is absolutely abysmal in Eldritch. It is absolutely dog shit in Eldritch. So I knew instantly the second I saw the duality, we win. I actually drew Celestial and Dasher. You guys saw my hand there? I drew Celestial and Dasher against Eldritch. I'm still going to win the duel. I'm still going to win the duel simply because I just know everything about this deck. And I don't need, I don't care. Celestial Dasher, that's all good. We're going to pen summon that fucker. We, we discarded the Dasher, pen summon the, the Celestial. We're, we Gucci. That's all we needed right here. So he goes to Kobo. I save my Cosmic. I don't Cosmic right off the bat. I don't Cosmic right off the bat. I save it because I know he's playing Floodgates. I play my cards properly around, around uh, what's it called? Around Inspector Border. We're going to get hit with Torrential here, and we're going to negate it with Baron. Uh, Baron is a Synchro, not a Pendulum. So I'm able to negate again under Border. And there's just nothing you can do. We're going to go for easy game here. Like I said, he is outmatched in the beginning. This is Pendulum versus Eldritch. And despite drawing Celestial and Dasher, we're still going to clap everything easily. I go, just I literally use Celestial as an XYZ material. You don't need to go DPE as a BL end all. I keep Tornado Dragon on the field after everything is popped. And now at this point, there's nothing he can do. So he, the second he sets, I just Tornado pop the other one. And then my turn, I go Baron, like pop. Like, this is just, this is free. Both the cards I, I know are both Scarlets. So there's just nothing that could be done at this point. I go Time Star Effect to add. Uh, add that. Bro, look at my field. Like, there's nothing that could be done to save him. I go Verte, just get Selena, access code, anything. If you activate Scarlet, it's pop. Round three, we're at 2-1 now. Game one, we go first against Eldritch. We set up, we know he's playing Eldritch because I saw him. It's like facing your buddy at a local. If you're at a local and you go to your locals all the time and you know your buddy plays Live Twin, then you, if you know he played Live Twin for the last 19 locals, it's like seeing Trip Gaming. What do you think, what do you think I'm playing if I'm heading to a local with a big ass smile on my face with a, a magician play mat that has five magicians on it yeah like like what the heck do you think i'm playing if i have this so i knew he was playing a lich so because i knew that i didn't even go for dagda i go straight for dpe i made sure to get double pengraph pop through everything through droll through nib i was careful for nib baron to four before the fifth summon all that stuff just in case just in case he was playing prosperity bait ass just in case he's playing something else but i set it up that way when he set five all five sets were gone before my main phase Game game one, there was no chance because I drew like like I, I I'm very prepared for trap decks. Game two, he goes I uh, heavily prison to protect from feather duster and lightning storm, which by the way my side deck doesn't even have, because I'm aware that the uh the only way that this that that Eldritch could play around uh cards like that would be by them playing Imperial Order and by them playing uh, uh anti spell or heavenly prison. So why play spells like that? I play cosmic because it it stops the anti spell and stuff like that. But also stops Scythe, Scythe as well. But then I play Red Reboot. And you guys shouldn't be playing Lightning, so we should be playing Evenly Matched or, or Reboot, stuff like that. Uh, anyway, so yeah, he had a Torrential Tribute, Border, and uh, Follow, inspect, Inspector Border, Torrential, uh, There Can Be Only One, and uh, Heavenly uh, Prison. So I did everything in a way where I baited out Solemn, I baited out both Solemns. I knew my, my Pensum went through, I only Pensum in two monsters instead of like four. And then, little by little, as you guys saw it, I baited that one out. Uh, I knew how I was going to deal with Border all along. I knew that if my heart, if my Pen Summon was negated, I knew that he could not activate Heavenly Prison. I knew this. So, I summoned only Harmo and Celestial, knowing that once Celestial goes to the graveyard, I need it in the graveyard. So, next turn, I'm drawing two. I'm not losing any time soon. I knew with Harmonizing Resolve, I was going to get a Baron. If he negated the Harmonizing with whatever effect, then I knew for a fact I had Needle Fiber. So, I'm playing very smart like this. And then uh, finally, when it came down to one card, and I knew I had my Baron, and I had my Cosmic, he chained to Kobo. I'm like, I knew he had some form of Floodgate, Summon Limit, there can be only one, goes in, because we saw this in the last match. I was going to Cosmic one of them, and I was going to try and Baron the last one when I saw Conk, and then I set up Baron, and then it was all over from there. The second Baron hit the field. And I, I set it up in a way, and then when I wanted to clear the board, I knew that all I had to do was clear the board with the extravagance, leaving my one card in hand. I thought that card in hand was Golden Lord. Ended up being a second inspector border. Could have been a second prison or a second border as well. And ended up being a second border. So I set up Tornado Dragon to be able to pop anything right away. So if he goes Golden Lord, sent Tornado Dragon, even if he sent the Scarlet, his best board in that scenario uh, would be uh, Golden Lord with Conk. But then I had draw two with two cards in hand with scales. There's no coming back at that point, so... Best deck. Last round here, we need to win to have a shot to win the whole thing. I'm okay with going like second place. I'm not okay with second place. I want to win the whole thing. But we need to win this to place top four at least. So we're facing off against Earth Machine here. And my opponent, you know, is a very good guy. Big shot. I want to give a shout out to my opponent. It was very nice, very pleasure to duel. 
do I even English? He was a great pleasure to duel. <laughs> I'm like very pleasure to duel. But uh, at the end of the day, uh, this Earth Machine deck is no match for Pendulum. They're just on different stratospheres of levels. Uh, he ends up here with just one Imperm and uh, the card in Graveyard, so I can't pop his cards. Not popping his cards is totally fine. Totally fine with me. He Imperms my birthday, which I just put up as a bluff anyways. Then I'm gonna simply just pen summon my whole hand. Verte was my full bluff, dude. That's how insane I am. I summon Verte as a bluff. That's when he gets hit with poison. I go pen, or sorry, with Imperm, and then I just pen sword, pop everything there. I dwell it to stop the Citadel from coming out. Once that's stopped, I go Selene Axis Code. Axis Code to pop everything on the field, not allow the Citadel to come out, and uh, then attack for game. Uh, I think I was off for like a thousand or something, so I just dweller on his turn, set pen graph, and GG. Next game, baby. Pen best deck is all I gotta say. So yeah, if you're facing, if you're playing Earth Machine against Pendulum, you're not gonna have a good day. Pendulum is just inherently insane. It just <laughs> like you're gonna need to play. You're gonna need to come at me with five negates to have a chance going uh, when I go second. Uh, yeah, so definitely no Earth Machine won't be enough. Earth Machine is cool. It is a very cool deck because it, it gets advantage, it gets pluses, it gets draws. So it's a very cool deck in its own regard. Just not on the level of Pendulum, and that's all right. Not every deck will be on the level of Pendulum. Because Pemba's deck, you already know what it is. We're going to go to the next game over here. And uh, he's going to go with a very similar combo as he just did. And I'm looking at my hand, I'm like, yeah, this, this is over. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to win this fast. And uh, I'm a little disappointed I didn't win match two or round two. But it is what it is. It's all good. It all, it's all good because we would have been 4-0 right now. But we need to get out sacked in round two. Uh, we go Joker. This is baiting an impermanence or uh, uh, anything else he could have. Once, <coughs> once I pass the imperm test, I'm like, let's just cosmic this. Uh, in case it was order as well, I didn't. Uh, I passed the order. I didn't like it was order. It was fine, but I was like, uh, just in case. Uh, so yeah, I go Verte, bait the bluff again. Uh, I go. D I just summon Verte DPE right away before because he has Citadel on the field. So if I pen summon, he's gonna Citadel pop my whole everything. So I want to make sure that DPE can come back. So since DPE comes back, uh, I just win. Dasher, bring out. This is not nothing that could be done in this scenario. Uh, his turn, he's gonna do a lot of cool stuff. Uh, Dasher actually can't come out because uh, I forgot that DP is in fact once per turn, but Celestia brings back to Dasher. And he's doing some cool stuff. He's going to go on and on and on and on. I have Pen Graph and DPE. So I'm going to, I pop with a DPE early. I'm Pen Graphing uh, pretty, like, right when I see two cards here. So I'm just going to send the, all the, that. And this is actually really solid, but he's still playing. Like, he's still drawing. So it's cool that Earth Machine can still draw this much. But at the end of the day, uh, if you're not coming at me with a bunch of negates, you're going to lose. So... Uh, shout out to my opponent, but it's just no match for Pendulum. My turn, I just penned and just destroy everything. So we end off with a record of 3-1. and one. We finish off with a record of X1. Pretty respectable, 3-1, and one, but not good enough. I want to go 4-0. If you ain't first, you last, baby. So we did our best there, but we didn't get out sacked round two. I had an absolute pleasure to play, doing this vlog. And if you guys enjoy this at-home vlog while COVID is still going on, let me know in the comments because I would love to do more. I love you guys. And I just I read the comments all the time. And you guys give such great words. And it really warms my heart. So if this is the type of content you guys like, I'll continually, continually doing it no matter how much work it takes. I love you all. Make sure to smash the subscribe button. Make sure to smash the like button. Check out tripgaming.com to get the most doable playmatch while supplies last. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.